For our chimpanzee cake, first of all, we need to do a plan, a drawing, so we get all the measurements so that we can do the templates for our carving and that we know uh, what kind of internal construction we need and where to put it. So I did that. This is my drawing of my chimpanzee. It's a simple one and I have some more pictures, reference pictures, so I can see more details and the colors of our, our chimpanzee cake. I'll show you later. This is the main construction that I need. I have a long threaded rod uh, in the middle, so it can hold our cake. And uh, we also need some support for the head around this height. And I'll do that with some cake boards that I will cut in the right size and shape that I need. And I have uh, on this construction board, I also have nuts and bolts to put them in the right height for our head. So this is my board. It's 39 centimeters in diameter. It's covered with brown fabric and protected. I protected it with some cellophane sheet so it doesn't get stained. I will take that off later on when all the cake is finished. And I have my long threaded rod over here. It's not right in the middle. As you can see on my, on my plan, it's a little bit on one side. So you have to measure that. I have my ruler here. I'll get you this plan also in the printable section so you can see it. It's around 18 centimeters from one edge. And I did that. 18 centimeters from the edge. And the cake is going to be over here. So underneath this, uh, this cellophane sheet, between the, the, the fabric and the cellophane sheet, I put some double-sided tape so it can hold our, our uh, sheet on this cellophane sheet. So when we tear it off, like you will see in the end, it will stay in this place underneath and the cake won't touch the, the fabric at any time. So we have to do our templates so we can see where to cut it. This is the whole cake when it's finished, the size. And we have to carve our cake a little bit smaller so we can put on this cake also the ganache, maybe some chocolate for the head to have a more uh, stable structure and cover it with, with sugar paste. So the template for the cake is a little bit, bit smaller than the real size cake that we want for our finish. So I'll make it a little smaller. It's a, around eight millimeters or one centimeter smaller. And I'll leave out my hands and my feet. Just have to come to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. And this is the shape of the body, I believe. I think this is going to be enough. And we'll place our hands and legs afterwards. I'll make this one without the head and make a separate one for the head. So the body comes over here. I believe this is okay. This is our body. And I'll make a separate one for the head because on this drawing, I want this head to be a little bit sidewards. So I needed an extra drawing for the head that's frontal. And I'll make a template for this one. I think I don't have enough space over here. Maybe I do. I do. I'll just make the head over here. the 
head so I can see. This is the body and this is the frontal view. Now you just cut this out. This is all approximate. Uh -huh. We still have our head. So next I'm going to show you all the materials and tools you need for this cake.